Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about prestiges in Call of Duty Cold War and how they work and the prestige keys and all them good things within the game. A lot of people aren't quite sure how it all works and how it's going to carry on working in the future as it's a bit of a grey area. They've not had too much information on this sort of stuff in general. We're going to run through all prestige stuff, everything prestige, prestige keys, how you prestige, when you prestige and how far you can go with prestiging and when you do get reset, if you do get reset within prestiges. But quickly before we do jump into the video, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm on the road to 5k subs by the end of the year. You can help me right now by just trying to smash that red button, turn it to a grey button, ding dong the bell while you're there, so you get notified every time I do post any videos. As you can see, I'm posting two to three times a day at the moment. Tips and tricks, class up videos, update videos, camo guides, all sorts of good things to help you guys within your Call of Duty Cold War experience. But yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Do you like the way Prestige works? Are you a bit annoyed the way Prestige works? Do you wish we had a standard Prestige system as opposed to this new one they've tried to imply? I'm going to jump straight into it right now, guys. So, guys, as you can see here, I am. it says I'm level Prestige 1, level 30, and I'm actually higher than that, which is really, really confusing. I'm not too sure why the levels are so bugged right now. I know uh, a lot of these people are a bit higher than what it says they are, whereas you can see that's Prestige 2, but if you flick past it there, it's Prestige 1. And then you've got Prestige Emblems, which aren't even Prestige, and it's everything's a bit all over the place in general, and no one really knows what's going on. Or what level they actually are in the game, which is a bit crazy, like I say. Um, it says I'm level 30. I'm actually more like level 39 to 40. So it's like 10 or 15 levels behind, I believe it is. And it's just a bit random. I don't actually know if you can see that. But yeah, if I click here, you guys can see that um, I am prestige 1, level 30. It says there. Whereas if I come out of a game, I've not got an after action report there. Whereas if I come out of a game, it says I'm higher than what I am. So I'm not too sure which one's correct. I believe it is the one that comes up at the end of the game. And the, the menus one here is a bit buggy. For whatever reason, I don't know. Hopefully, they do fix this within the near future because a lot of people are confused with as of what level they are and where they're hitting levels and things like that. Um, in terms of prestiges, guys, if you do come over to barracks, here is the prestige system explained a little bit better. As you can see with that level right there, I'm fully maxed that level out for level 30, which obviously means I am higher than what it says there. But if you see down the bottom here, it says Season 1 coming in December. Season 1 includes unified levels across Cold War, Warzone, and Modern Warfare. Four new prestige levels, prestige shop with rewards that can be unlocked with prestige keys, season calling card challenges, and prestige master with up to 1,000 possible levels. So guys, basically what the prestige keys are going to allow you to do if this is what you're here for, as you can see right at the bottom of my level down here. So as you guys can see right there, it says I have a prestige key. And what this means is every um, time you prestige, you're going to unlock a prestige key. Therefore, when the prestige shop comes, which it says right there, will be in season one. You're going to be able to buy something from the, from the, from the prestige shop. And back in like Modern Warfare 2 and 3, I believe it was Modern Warfare 2 as well, you could go into the prestige shop and buy things like double XP, double weapon XP, uh, just sort of fun things like that, like an hour or a day's worth of double XP or whatever it was because you've prestige, you're going to then use that key and get more XP to go to prestige again faster. Or you could use it to permanently unlock an item, which is dependent on what you want to do. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a similar thing like that. I know they're adding previous prestige emblems back into the game, like uh, prestige emblems from Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, maybe even Black Ops 1, depending. I'm not too sure what, how far back they're going with it. But I know they are going to be adding prestige emblems from previous games back into this one. So if you want to buy one of them and show off your prestige level within a different badge, then that's entirely up to you. You can do that. And I think that's a great idea. A lot of people did. I love the uh, prestige badges back in the day. So I feel like we see a lot of people running around with that sort of stuff. In terms of prestiges, guys, to actually prestige within the game, all you have to do is hit level 55. And then when you hit level 56, it's going to put you as prestige 1, level 1. Um, and then you've got to work your way back up through the prestige again. You'll be prestige 1, you'll be prestige 1 level 6. 50 i believe it is it may even be a bit higher this time around i believe it is just prestige one level 50 and when you hit that it's going to then be prestige three which you work all the way up to level 100 for and then i believe you just work up to the thousand levels after that obviously as you can see i'm still prestige one at the moment i haven't quite got to prestige three i've not seen anyone that is prestige three yet and working that high up i'm sure people out there are prestige three then people that have been really grinding the game I know Prestige 2, you have to get up to that level 100 mark, and that's when you hit Prestige 3. And then I think from Prestige 3, it is just up to the level 1000, which was, is going to be mental if anyone hits it. I'm going to try and hit it for the first season. It's going to be the only time I really go for it because it's a long grind. There's a lot of leveling up to do. It takes literally, like, once you are past level 30, it starts taking two or three games every single time to level up, which is mad. Uh, the whole leveling system in this game in, from weapons to like player level is very very slow to level up into in honesty guys But as you can see here as well if you reach lit season level 50 um, at prestige 1 then you will unlock this um, 
Shotgun, which it's not letting me preview for whatever reason that may be. Let's try. Literally, it's not doing anything. So, that is it, guys, in terms of prestiges. Uh, I believe at the start of every new season, levels will be reset, which is a bit confusing. Don't really understand why. Um, I don't really get the whole point of doing that. Seasons level, see it as it says down the bottom there in yellow. Season levels will reset every season, but you will keep um, prestige levels, which I don't quite understand how that works. Um, maybe it's a case of you reset, you go back through the prestiges, but when you're back on that grind to level a thousand, it might it might be where it's kept. But I don't really understand where it's happening unless it's going to be like your prestige one prestige two prestige three and first season season two comes around you then prestige four five and six after that comes around you'll see your prestige seven eight nine again nine ten or ten eleven twelve hopefully it does work that way so then you can think that so then, then when you look at someone's level and you go wow they're prestige 25 or prestige 20 however many prestiges there are they come the end of the game they've prestiged every single season the whole way throughout and hopefully that is the way they do it that'd be so sick if that's the way they're doing it because then it's worth grinding the game because at the minute people are thinking that once you hit prestige three uh come season two it's then going to be prestige uh one two and three again so there's not going to be a whole prestige system but the fact that it says there you will keep earn um, prestige levels i'm hoping it's going to be uh prestige one two and three and then prestige four five and six whereas if you if you play the first season if you play the second season as your first season what would be prestige four for some people would be prestige one for the people that are joining in then which is absolutely sick and i love the fact that they may be doing that and i really hope that's the way they go about it because it allows them people like me who are grinding the game and trying to get through the prestiges as fast as possible making the most of double xp weekends just making the most of grinding the game at eight to ten hours a day just to be able to get up through them levels and then keeping hold of them prestiges because if they reset back to level zero without any prestiges um at the start of a new season nobody's really going to want to play the game it's going to die off so quickly because i know i'm not going to be grinding through three prestiges every single season to then be reset at the end of it whereas if i'm at prestige three at the end of this one whether i hit level 1000 or if i hit level 10 level prestige three i don't really care as long as i keep all three prestiges come at the end of the season so when it comes to season two i then am prestige four five and six like i said you go back up through the prestiges that way as they do say there will be 20 prestiges possible to earn by the end of the game so hopefully fingers crossed that means you're not going to get reset at the end of the season and you do keep prestige one two and three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve etc etc all the way up to level 20 hopefully that is the way it works guys so hopefully this has cleared up prestiges and how prestiges and prestige keys and all, all things in level wise in call of duty Cold war has worked out hopefully this has helped you out understand that a bit more if it has smash big thumbs up let me know your thoughts and everything in the comments below if it, if i am right guys if it if it does keep your whole prestiges come the end of the season so season two i'll be able to get to prestige three four and five let me know in the comments below i'll be interested to see if that is the case and if it is then that's amazing they've done a really good job there if it's not then i don't know how much of this game i'm gonna end up grinding through but yeah guys like i said if you enjoyed the video smash big thumbs up if you're new around here subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss any more videos on the channel and we'll catch you in the next one in a bit